Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my 18 and 2018 Project Pan Lip Edition update. I have a, a really exciting update for you guys. I was able to complete one of my lip products. So that is one out of 18 for the year. Woohoo! And I have some good progress to share with you guys with the rest of them. And, you know, again, there's some lip products I just didn't touch or I have downstairs and I didn't grab them because they're in my purse. So it'll be an interesting update, but let's get right into the item that I used up. I used up my Bite Beauty, um, a Mousse Bouche Lipstick in Fig, and I am so happy to have used this up. This was a little mini lipstick. It came like in a set of four, and the shade of this, the Fig, was so beautiful. I really, really enjoyed this lip product. I would totally purchase a full size of this once I'm done with all the other lip products in my collection. But to have one lip product done and it's February, that is awesome. So really happy to have finished that up. Moving on to more of the lip products that I kind of focused in in on this month is the YSL Rouge Volup Shine. I didn't focus on it as much as I probably should. I was focusing on other ones, but I do have some progress to share with you guys. That is what the lipstick looks like now. This is the oldest lipstick in my collection. And you can see right there that that was, when, when was that? December when I started it, January, and then February. So almost done with this lip product. Don't really like it. It won't be repurchasing it. It kind of moves off of the lips, things like that. Has a really nice fruity scent to it. Love the shade, but yeah, it's high-end expensive and doesn't stay on my lips as much as I would want a high-end product too. So still working on that. And then mainly what I've been wearing on my lips, and you'll notice in a lot of my videos, I have like a mixture of these two lip products on. I have the Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Cashew, and this is just like a little nude kind of deluxe sample. I really like this for all over the lips for a nude, but I've been topping it with my Bite Beauty Kimchi lipstick, and this is a mousse boost formula as well. And pairing those two together is just perfect so I can not have too nude of a lip, but not too hot pink of a lip either. It's just been a really good combo that I've enjoyed doing. And you guys can see Kimchi is that progress right there, so from here to there was kimchi and then cashew wasn't as much as I would have thought since I used it as a base Let's see if you can see all this three lines right there but um, I guess because it's a multi stick it's a little bit thicker of a formula so you don't go through it as fast as the moosh boosh lipstick so I'm still doing that combo and will probably be continuing to do that a lot in March um, I really like it then I have on today and have been using the Noto, this is the Multi Benetit Eyes, Cheeks, and Lips. It's a really nice, like, pinky, natural, your lips with better color. Has that little tingle to your lips, though, because of the peppermint in this product. But I really like it. it smells good, and it's a pretty good lip product. So I've been using this as well. And you can see my little lines from last month to this month. Then the other lip product I was focusing in on was my RL Linden & Co. La Bomba Rosa. And I can't roll this up or down, but this is just like a clear kind of lip balm, all natural, cruelty free that I have been using. So real quick, I have four lippies that have made their way downstairs into my purse and I just was too lazy to run downstairs and run back upstairs to get it for this video, but I couldn't really share with you guys a lot of the progress on that. The Bite Beauty Pepper Lipstick, the Smashbox B56 Lip Stain, I really have been enjoying wearing that. The Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover Lip Oil, I really don't use that often. A lot of my lip products I can just take off with like regular cleanser, but some of the lip stains I do use that product to take it off. Then the last thing is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I really liked that and the shade I have is Love Sick and that's been a pretty good shade as well. And then real quick, I'll run down what I have still upstairs, and it's been kind of put away in the lip drawer and I haven't really touched, but I have the Urban Decay Frostbite Cream Lipstick, which still looks like that. You guys know last month I decluttered the Heroin Lipstick, which was a comfort matte. I didn't like the, how dry of a formula that was. Still using the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquid Lipstick. 
I have another Kat Von D um, Everlasting Lips <laughs> Everlasting Lipstick in Dreamer. Then I have from Tarte, this is the Set Sail Lipstick, and this came as like a Sephora Play sample. Once I start using that, that should be no problem to use up. Then I have the Buxom Pink Decoy Lipstick. It's a bunch of like little minis that I just really need. Whoop, copper, don't need it. Bunch of like little lip minis that I just need to get to work on and get out of my collection. I didn't touch the Modern Minerals lip balm. I have other lip balms that I'm working on. And then the last thing that I added last time was the Bite Beauty Pastille Lip Crayon. I think I used this maybe once, but haven't reached for it since. And that's where I'm at on that. I'm not adding any new lip products to this project. I'm really just going to try and focus on using these lip products or decluttering them, things like that. Just constantly rotating in and always having 18 to work on doesn't make any sense. So I am just focusing on those 18 items. One has already been completed. My fig lipstick, super excited about that. But yeah, those are the lip products that I'm still working on and the lip product that I have used up for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in more of these updates and other project plans for me, be sure to subscribe down below and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!